Good morning everyone, it's your girl Luce and this week I am filming an entire week of food and fitness for you guys. So it is currently a Monday and I have always only done a what I eat in a day video so I thought it would be really fun to not only show you what I eat in a week but also to show you my kind of fitness routine alongside that. It is literally October in two days. Look at my home screen, I am feeling so autumnal. I completely forgot to show you my breakfast. However, it's my favourite autumn breakfast so I will definitely be making this later on in the week so you will see it. Now now it's lunch time so I'm about to go and make lunch. Caribbean jerk chicken soup from Asda, which may I tell you is absolutely incredible. And I also picked up some really gorgeous wholemeal sourdough from the fresh bakery section. Soup is such an autumnal meal. I always have a glass of water with every meal. So here we go, meal number one. That soup was absolutely insane. I literally cannot get over it. So if you guys have an Asda near you, you have to go and get that soup. I am trying something out completely new with exercise. Obviously you guys know that I'm subscribed to Lucy May Lifestyle. That's not changed. I'm still subscribed to her. She's still incredible. But I have a friend called Lara who is the most amazing person. I met her at Hurtwood. That's my boarding school for those of you who don't know. So Lara's been doing these fitness classes at a place called One Rebel, which is basically club workouts. We are going to one called Rumble today, which is basically a boxing based workout. The idea of going and working out in a club is so exciting to me, so I feel like it's going to be amazing. Hello, it's here! Look at her, she's the queen. <laughs> oh my god. This is insane. Oh my god. This is literally a club. We had a club! <laughs> When I tell you that was hard. Looks like we've had a shower. <laughs> oh my God. My hands are ruined. Literally, I'm shaking. <laughs> that was so good. She was like, amazing, guys. Follow her for fitness. <laughs> this is why you should exercise, like the endorphins. <laughs> that is hard work. <laughs> So I got this very cherry energy drink, which has basically got almond milk, cherries, peanut butter, and vanilla whey protein. I'm very excited for this. This is absolutely delicious. It is now the evening, and as you guys saw, I had the best time at One Rebel. Like, it was so much fun, and really nice to just do something different, and go and see a friend, and just have fun. So on tonight's menu is turkey meatballs with a tomato sauce, rice and broccoli. Turkey meat is a lot leaner than beef. I also just try to avoid beef because of the environment. So this is the finished product. I've got basmati rice and I always use microwavable. I know it's not very cost effective but it's just so much easier and nicer so I use that. And then I've got this bolognese sauce with some chopped up celery, onions, sweet corn and then turkey meatballs in amongst it and then just some broccoli for the side. Guys, I have a slight obsession with ice digestive. So you get a digestive, cover it in icing sugar, and then put your choice of sprinkles or marshmallows or chocolate or whatever you want to put on top. And it is absolutely divine. So we are just about to watch a film. So I'm going to tuck into a few ice digestives and that's probably all I'm going to eat for today. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, my dears. I have just made my breakfast. I'm actually having breakfast in bed because I am hooked on a book at the moment. So I want to read whilst I eat. But this is the part that I was supposed to show you yesterday. <laughs> I completely forgot. Apple, sultana, and cinnamon porridge. And basically on the top, I've just put banana, honey, and some peanut butter. It's such a nice awesome porridge. Like the, the flavors of like apple and cinnamon are just divine. It's so good. Oh. 
I am currently just microwaving some rice and I'm going to have the same um, meatballs that I had last night. I feel especially as a student, it's really important that when you're making meals to make two portions whenever you cook, just so that you can easily microwave it and it can be a really quick, easy lunch or a quick, easy dinner if you've got stuff to do or if you're busy. So I've got my turkey meatballs, a glass of water and that's Tuesday lunch. guys it's currently six o'clock I'm doing my live workout today is booty day so this is my normal setup I've got my yoga mat and I have my ring light that just holds my phone Jason's there we're ready to start the workout myself Do not worry guys, we're done. Okay, the workout's finished guys. Oh my gosh, that might have been harder than yesterday. I am shaking again. <laughs> that was incredible. So I did my workout, which was super amazing, but I was really sore from the session that I did at One Rebel. We were just doing loads of jump squats and I had not really warmed up before, so my butt today has been hurting so much. It was an amazing, amazing workout, but I just struggled. So I did a massive stretch session. I'm now really hungry. On the menu today is sweet potato, coconut, and chili soup with homemade garlic bread. I'm so excited to make this so this is actually a recipe that is on Lucy May lifestyle so they do live cook alongs as well so I'm basically gonna watch the live cook along whilst I cook guys just look at all the ingredients I have like this is going to be a health feast like we've got turmeric onion carrot sweet potato celery ginger garlic sourdough chilies lime coconut milk oh my god I'm literally just watching their live stream now I cannot explain to you how insane this smells look at at this oh my goodness this garlic bread was so cool to make like it's literally so healthy you don't use butter you don't actually put garlic on it oh my god this is so nice wow i'm shook Incredible. That's amazing. <laughs> Incredible. Right, look at this. We are ready and prepped for Bake Off. We have our hot chocolates with whipped cream, marshmallows, and sprinkles. We're not messing around. Also, this soup, it made five whole portions, and these are big portions. It's biscuit week on Bake Off. We cannot forget Annabelle's beautiful creation. Nice digestives. Look at them. They are so beautiful. Good morning everyone. It is currently Wednesday morning. I try and keep my actual meals really healthy and then that means that I can allow myself to have whatever snacks I want. So this morning's breakfast is a healthy fruit salad. So in here I've got an apple, a banana and half of a big orange. My secret to creating a really healthy fruit salad, normally people put orange juice or like fruit juice on it. I squeeze half a lemon. So I treated myself to a gingerbread hot chocolate from Costa. I'm also going to accompany it with a few chunks of this Cadbury Dairy Milk ginger bread chocolate honestly this is incredible so if you guys haven't tried this try it and it's now like 20 to 2 so i'm really hungry so i'm gonna snack on that i'm gonna make chicken pesto pasta now which is literally one of my favorite lunches ever here is my pasta she looks absolutely gorgeous Today I was supposed to do a 45 minute workout and an ab routine. Today is actually a rest day on the um, timetable of Lucy May Lifestyle's workouts. But obviously I missed her workout on Monday and everyone's been saying it was like the best one because obviously I was at One Rebel. Um, so I really wanted to try it out. So I was gonna not actually take today as a rest day and do literally five days of workouts. And this is why I wanna stress the importance of listening to your body because I am just exhausted. Today I've been really sore, my butt and my legs have been sore. So realistically I could have pushed myself to do workouts today but I just I just haven't really wanted to 
and that's completely okay. Also, I had on my meal plan, I was gonna have salmon and veggies tonight. It was gonna be really healthy, really delicious. It's one of my favorite recipes, so I really would have loved to have had it. One, I don't have any veggies and I can't be bothered to walk to the shops to get them. And two, I'm really bloated and full. Like, I don't know whether that's from the pasta that I had at lunchtime. I'm just not hungry. However, it is really important that I do eat before I go to bed and that I at least have something. Otherwise, that's not healthy if I just don't eat. So I'm actually feeling like maybe having some of that sourdough that I had yesterday with the soup. I think I'll toast that and then have some honey and banana on top. It's completely okay not to stick to your plan. And you know, there are days where you just feel a bit down. You can't be bothered to cook a whole meal and you can't be bothered to work out. And I just wanna stress, yeah, the importance of just like allowing yourself to do that and not completely beating yourself up about it. Good night. Good morning, everyone. So I'm about to go on a walk with Ella from my course. So I just need to grab a quick breakfast before I leave. That means that I'm having toast again. I did have toast last night. I'm having the same thing. I'm having one piece of bread with honey and banana. It's just a standard. You always know it's gonna be good. I've only had one piece just because I'm having the pasta that I made yesterday for lunch again. And I just don't wanna overload myself with carbs, especially when I'm working out this evening. Like I don't need the energy now. I'm now back from my walk with Ella. I had such a lovely time and I actually ended up going back to hers and we had some tea and cake. I had spiced ginger tea, which was delicious, very autumnal. And she also made this incredible lemon and lavender buckwheat cake, which was absolutely insane. And here we are, here is my pasta. I just heated it up in the microwave for probably about three minutes. I'm also actually drinking some orange squash with it for a change, just to kind of mix it up from water. Um, obviously it's no added sugar orange squash, just to be a little bit healthier. It may or may not be two hours later. I may or may not have eaten this many double stuffed Oreos. And I'm not gonna promise that they won't be gone by the end of today. But you guys get her ass up and do a workout now. Today's workout is upper body, but it's a mixture of strength and hit. They actually did this workout this morning, but I didn't do it live because I was meeting Ella for a walk. But they are doing the core class live at six. So I thought I would do this first workout at five. By the time I've done that, I'll be able to do the core one live. So that's actually gonna work out really well. Guys, I finally made my granola for my breakfast tomorrow. So you will see that tomorrow. But more importantly, here is my dinner. Okay, this doesn't look as satisfying because I've actually chopped the salmon up. But this is what it basically is. Teriyaki salmon. This sauce is one of my favorite soy sauce honey ginger garlic then i've done some garlic butter fried asparagus and carrots and i've also just fried some tomatoes good morning Oh my god. That was probably the hardest workout I've done in a long time. It's really interesting actually. I find HIIT workouts a lot easier, but when it's strength combined with HIIT, I'm just dead. Just to give you a little bit of an update, yesterday I had a bit of bad news. I'm all fine, it's all good. But that meant that I actually just didn't have the motivation to do a workout. I did the core workout, so I did 20 minutes of abs and then I got bad news and then I didn't workout so i'm a bit annoyed like there is a lot of guilt inside but it's fine i just need to get over it and like life happens and shit happens like that all the time things get in the way 
and you just can't work out and that's okay. I'm very happy because this one pushed me so hard today so I feel like I've kind of made up for it. Now I'm gonna have breakfast which I'm really excited for. I've literally been looking forward to this breakfast all week. It's so good. It's lunchtime. What's up guys? I had my Black Forest hot chocolate, the first one of the year. I spend the entire year looking forward to these from Costa. They are the best drink ever. You guys know it is my number one favorite thing like in the entire world. So I was very happy to have my first Black Forest hot chocolate earlier. Now I'm having lunch. I'm literally just having the same soup that I made earlier in the week, the chili coconut and sweet potato one. And I've made the garlic bread again. Hey everyone. I'm literally wrapped in a blanket right now. Excuse my appearance. But it is Friday evening. It's the last meal of the vlog. It's Friday. It should be a really great meal. But I'm actually just going to be a bit boring. And I'm having the salmon that I had last night again tonight. Because I obviously made two portions. I'm just going to microwave that up. But also, we've just bought loads of biscuits for the house. We've bought these jammy dodges. Which are literally one of my favourite biscuits. And we have wagon wheels. I'm actually not sure if they have the jam in. Which really disappoints me because i only like the wagon wheels with jam in um and we've also got some rich tea biscuits so i'm gonna enjoy snacking on those after dinner and also we can't forget my favorite chocolate in the entire world lint dark chocolate caramel with a touch of sea salt show us what you're eating adam this is my dinner uh annabelle made banana bread banana bread is amazing with butter on guys you have to try it. Right, taste test. That's so good. Mm -mm. I literally ate that within two seconds. <laughs> that was so good. It's jammy dodger time. I feel like it's one of my favorite biscuits. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I literally indulged so much this evening, but that's what Fridays and weekends are for. So I had probably a few more jammy dodges after I turned the camera off. I also had a wagon wheel, which actually you did see. I'm actually not gonna vlog the weekend just because I feel like this vlog already has so much content. Also, Holly is taking me out on a massive surprise day tomorrow. I have no idea what we're doing, but she said that it is involving loads of food. So I'm actually gonna vlog it as a separate video. So make sure you guys check out that one when I upload it. I've obviously never done a video like this before so please let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this style of vlog. I hope you guys can see that I have a massive balance of like treating myself and also making sure I eat really healthily with fitness. I try really hard. I try and work out a lot but also I let myself off if I'm feeling really down or tired. Like my first priority is my mental well-being. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you next week for another video. Bye!